Huracan might be lit up by the pyrotechnic display, but they were certainly fired up by Aaron Wheels following him. I love WCMX because it is my meditation. It's a way for me to express my creativity and just open my eyes to what is possible. It has shown me that just in life in general, being able to manage your fear and your thoughts has really helped me in so many ways. My name is Aaron Wheels Fotheringham, and I ride WCMX. WCMX stands for Wheelchair Motocross. We're here in my hometown of Las Vegas, Nevada. I was born and raised in Vegas, and I love it out here. Right now we're driving up the street from where I live. Every morning I drive up here for my cardio and some training. I park my truck at the top of the road and then I proceed to bomb down the hill in my wheelchair. And then when I get to the bottom, I gotta push my chair all the way back up. So it's kind of like a forced workout. It kind of freaks people out to see dude on a wheelchair just like flying through an intersection, but it's part of the fun. <laughs> as far as spina bifida goes, I'm pretty blessed to not have it as bad as it could possibly be. I have pretty good movement in my hips and my core, and then as you go further down, like my knees, there's less movement there, and then from the knees down, there's pretty much like no movement at all. But in the skate park, being able to have some of that core control has really helped with like the 360s and some of the tricks. Growing up with spina bifida, I sure did spend a lot of time in the hospital. To this day, I've had 23 surgeries. I used crutches pretty much till I was about eight years old. Eventually, the wheelchair was just like a big relief for me. It was just so much more fun. I always viewed it as like a toy or as a bike, you know? Throughout my childhood, I was just always pumped on action sports. I'd always go around the neighborhood with my friends and they're on their bikes and skateboards and I was on my wheelchair. You know, it was always just a way for me to keep up with my friends. So the first time I actually dropped into a skate park, I was eight years old. By the time I was 14, I had landed the first backflip on a wheelchair. It really opened my eyes to what was actually possible. So we're here in the shop. Uh, this is where I repair my wheelchairs and do some welding and some grinding and try to get them back on their wheels. This is the mega ramp chair. This is the one I do all the big scary jumps on. The first time I got to a Nitro Circus practice, it was absolutely terrifying. It's this giant towering ramp, 55 feet tall, and um, you know, I signed the waiver and they got me to the top of the ramp and I remember just being up there and I was just like, man, like this is so scary. And so my first time actually down the nitro ramp, I went for a backflip and I actually landed pretty much wheels down into the foam and everyone was just like cheering and coming up and telling me that I had made it into the crew. and. From that point on, they brought me on the world tour, and it's been all downhill from there. No! You can see the excitement down here from all of these people. We are out here at Fontana South Skate Park. We're here for the SoCal WCMX Showdown. It's the national championships of WCMX. Woo! I always had this thought like, man, it would be cool if I could compete with other people on wheelchairs. Fast forward a few years to where we are now. To be able to have WCMX competitions and a WCMX World Championship, it's an absolute dream come true. Yeah. Yeah. 
Troy McGurk is the event organizer and he sets up these WCMX competitions and gets the word out there. I started SoCal WCMX in 2016. We found this park here, and it's the most wheelchair-friendly park in the world. And so a lot of our stuff is done based out of here. Tony is going to be a really good one to watch. He's been riding for a year now out here killing it. How I got here is kind of a long story. I broke my back two years ago snowboarding in Big Bear. I took a year to get myself rehabilitated and figure out life. And last year, I actually came to this event, met Aaron. He sparked a fire in me. And ever since then, I just figured out that this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Snoopy, she's one of my favorite riders to watch out here. I mean, she's calculated, but she's fearless at the same time. And it's a lot of fun to watch her. My name is Alyssa Montenegro. I'm 14 years old, but everybody calls me Snoopy because that's honestly my favorite Peanuts character. I got started with WCMX when I went to go get measured for my tennis chair. And so I was sitting there and I was popping wheelies and Troy, you know, saw me and was like, you should come out to the skate park, try this out, you know. And so I tried out skating and I fell in love with it right then and there. So instead of getting a tennis chair, I got a skate chair instead. Well, I know they're hoping to get it into the Paralympics and so she definitely wants to try that. <laughs> yeah. Wishing for that, actually. Unfortunately, crashing is a really big part of what I do. I've developed this ability to crash and not get hurt. Anyone that rides WCMX has to have this ability to not really let the pain of the crash deter you. I mean, for me, when I take a really hard slam, I try to learn from it. You know, each crash leaves a hint of what you did wrong, and so you just try to make an adjustment. I've been seeing you two just progress like crazy, and so I'm pumped to be able to shred. You feeling good about tomorrow, though? Yeah, I'm pretty good. You know what, have you tried that roll over there? You hitting that thing? Yeah. I that's I did that one today for the best trick. Get the hands in there. No, <laughs> you I, got that. For some reason, it's like I always just keep my hands like close to my wheels or like even on my wheels. It's when you're showing off is when you get hurt. <laughs> Hot dogging and then smack. Going for the blind rail. When you go up to it, level your chair out when you go off. And when you push, just let the chair fall, and it'll naturally fall on it. Just like maybe like couples chilling pushes, just like bump, bump. I believe in you. This is the one. Just remember, if you hit that rail, you want to be leaning forward a little bit. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. More forward. Yes. I think you got this. You think? Yeah, because when you every time you go down, you're leaning back and trying to grab one of us. Skate around and warm up. All right. So 11, we're gonna be kicking off. You guys are gonna be doing two 90-second runs, and then we're gonna end with your best trick. Oh! The event just kicked off. Right now we got the kids killing it. Coming up with a lot of speed turn to that bank drop. Oh, get ready to fire this thing off. Women's division coming up here in just a few moments, guys. Y'all get ready for some action. We got one of the crowd favorites, Snoopy Montenegro. Go, Snoopy! Yeah, Snoop. You know Snoopy's got some tricks in store for you guys. We got the drop rail all set up for super tactical.
Let's hear it one more time for the Young Guns in Divisions 2 and Division 3. All right. Women's Division. Snoopy Montenegro's taking the first place spot for the Women's Division. Y'all give it up. Let's give it up one more time for the Women's Division, y'all. All right. And let's give it up for Aaron Wills Fothergam taking first and defending his title here at the North American Championship at WCMX. Aaron is huge to our sport because he shows what's possible. The camaraderie he has with the kids and the, the time that he'll take to talk to them and spend with them, you know, that's huge to have somebody like that that's where he is in the sport, hang out with a young WCMXer. There's been talk of WCMX one day maybe making it to the Paralympics to be able to have it on the main stage, you know, where people from all around the world are competing in the sport, and I mean, that would be pretty cool.